What's the best martial art? So whenever people ask this question, I think it's a little strange to be honest because I think that question is really missing the point. So as a martial artist myself, I study the art for just personal improvement, for discipline, for socializing, and for defense is mixed in there too. I study Aikido, which incorporates falls, and to me at least, I think the different ways we learn to fall, that's probably more likely to save my life someday. You know, like if I'm just walking along and I trip over something, I'll fall in a better way than if I had no Aikido training. But a lot of people just seem really obsessed, like, oh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is definitely the best martial art, or MMA, which isn't an art in itself. MMA is the best, or I don't know, Krav Maga is the best because it's so practical. But every time somebody says that, you gotta step back and think about it for a minute. All of these arts have weaknesses to it. Krav Maga might be really effective, but it's also really brutal. Do you want to hurt someone as badly as you would with Krav Maga? And even from a legal standpoint, what are you going to have to say in court if you injure your attacker? As odd as that sounds, that's a very realistic scenario, at least in the United States. You might have to explain your actions. So maybe you would have been better off with a more peaceful route. And taking a step back further from that, something that I enjoy about Aikido, which is often ridiculed among the martial arts too, something I like about Aikido is just the overall philosophy behind it. Kind of going off the line and using your attacker's energy against them. And I brought in that to sort of the psychological sense. I try to think about, okay, if somebody is wishing ill of me, how can I move around that? Even verbally, you know, how can I talk somebody down and go that route? So to me, if I'm in that situation and I'm able to keep a level head and figure out a way to talk around it, I think my Aikido is working. Now, to some people, they may say, oh, that's kind of BS to think that way. Some, some people you won't be able to talk down. Yeah, I know that's true, but that's just my perception on it. And I have no desire whatsoever to fight anyone, and it's not really my personality. So that's part of the attraction um, to Aikido, at least for me. But what do you guys think about this? Well, first of all, feel free to post what you think the best martial art is. But again, I think that's missing the point. All of the martial arts have something good about them. Martial arts also have holes in in the techniques. You know, like if you have a stand-up art, you might be in trouble if you end up on the ground. Or there's just different holes in the techniques, or certain techniques may not really work in practice. And, I mean, you practice most martial arts in a very controlled environment to begin with, so that you can lack some realism, but I don't know. I I still personally think that's missing the point. And to me, probably the best martial art would be a combination of many martial arts into one. Just take out the little pieces from here and there, and voila, you'd have your best martial art. But the problem with that is you're probably spreading yourself too thin, you know, trying to dabble in way too many martial arts at once and try to be trying to be a jack of all trades. There can be a problem with that, too. But that's probably a topic for another video, whether you should go deep into one martial art or kind of dabble in a bunch. There could be good and bad about both of those routes. But yeah. What's the best martial art, and do you think that question can even be answered? Let me know in the comments section.